Hello everyone and welcome to another screen printing video by Cat's Bit Productions. I'm your host, Jonathan. Thank you for clicking on my video today. I appreciate your time and attention very much. And if you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. Alright, so today, hey, listen, just a quick video here. Uh, I wanted to introduce or make you guys aware of this press. This is a tabletop press built by Hicks. Okay, and it's their convertible series, which is pretty cool. There are a lot of cool things I like about this that we're going to uh, look at. Like, for one, it has the aluminum printhead carousel, which you know I like that. This is very cool. Also, of course, aluminum pallet carousel that turns the pallets. Okay, and this upgradable press is basically made with, with the same parts that the floor press would be. So if you were, were to order like a four color, four station floor press, these are the exact same heads and the build that you're gonna get. So this thing's a tank, and it was crated amazingly, by the way. Okay, when it came in, and it, it was in a beautiful crate. The, the base of the press was bolted down to the bottom of the pallet, and we only had two boxes. There was a box for the pallet arms and a box for the pallets, and everything else was basically ready to go. So that was amazing. Uh, the crating job was superb, all right? So the other thing about it that we're gonna look at is this double hinged print head thing that they have here. And you can see the way the print head goes down into the registration fairings, uh, it's not a clamshell like, you know, clamshell. <laughs> It's, uh, it comes down so that the screen is, is parallel to the pallet, okay, if that makes sense. All right, so very cool stuff. Uh, the end, I mean, the pallet arms, they were a breeze to put on, very simple to put on, very simple to tighten up and attach, like uh, anybody could do that. And yep, it does have gas lifts, but I'm actually liking this for teaching. I'm gonna be teaching again soon, and uh, this is nice because there's no danger of it actually popping up and hitting anybody in the chin or something. So that's very cool, and it appears to be a very heavy gas shock, because I know some people will say, oh, well, you gotta replace the gas shocks, uh, they go bad. And uh, yeah, if you're doing a lot of printing and you're fortunate enough to be doing that much printing that you need to replace a gas shock, then I think that's a, that's a good thing. But we'll, we'll look at this press in much more detail, okay? And uh, you know, we'll check it out. That's all I can say. I'm liking it. The micro reg is really, really heavy duty. Nice. I like these levers here. It's, it's, it, it turns smooth. And then it also has uh, a bite bar, a unique bite bar that has springs on it. And no moving parts touch the frame or your screen, right? So very cool print head with the, with the bite bar and the clamp, which is, which is on a little spring system I thought was very unique little design. And um, what else could we say about it today? Other than that, uh, you know, we're gonna do some videos with it. I'm gonna set it up, uh, do a multicolor with this, and uh, we'll see what we do and uh, try to show you guys the Hicks convertible tabletop series uh, presses. And uh, they're very cool because they actually, uh, Hicks, you know, somewhat recently or whatever, they had redesigned all their presses to come together to this very cohesive line of presses which which is very cool and uh so i think this is going to be a lot of fun and i i've wasted enough of your time today jibber jabbing okay so uh look forward to some videos with this machine in the near future and of course please subscribe to my youtube channel if you like my content you like my videos please subscribe to the youtube channel like the video and that's it for now hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you guys next time